what's up guys i'm back with another video and today man we're gonna be checking out the top 10 last second saves in anime now y'all already know bro the last second saves are the most intense and the most crazy ones in anime let's be 100 percent honest and they are like just incredible let's be 100 percent honest now bro i ain't even gonna lie bro i just been feeling like posting a sit down video with y'all you know what i'm saying i haven't want, done one of those in a long ass time and don't bro don't worry trust me it's coming soon bro i will be dropping a sit down video i really want to just talk to y'all you know what i'm saying get y'all ready get y'all focused bro because the time has come where we all get focused bro but anyways y'all Thank y'all so much for the support I've been getting recently, man. We're at 503 subs. We're trying to get to 1K by the end of this year, bro. Let's make that possible. We're on the road to 1K. I love y'all so damn much. Like I always say, this means so damn much to me. But anyways, y'all, if y'all are new to the channel and y'all enjoy the content, please make sure to hit that sub button. Make sure to hit that like button. Let's try and hit five likes on this video right now. And also, hit those notification bells so y'all can get notified whenever I drop a video, man. But anyways, y'all, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into this video, man. Imagine a scenario Speaking where up. a fallen protagonist stares oh, down his shit. impending doom. In his darkest hour, help arrives yeah. in the form of a mighty hero. Complete with awesome music and much fanfare, the rescuer then lays the smack down on the bad guys. I'm sure we've seen some version oh of this scene in one way or another already. Anime is that chock blood. full of them. Some have done these scenes well, while others not so much. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the top heroic rescues. You sure are oh. glad you have those guys on your side, aren't you? Oh yeah. Minna. Oh, this is gonna be a good video, boy. Feeling enraged by Yupi insulting Shoot, Knuckle prepares a punch that would demolish the Chimera Ant. Unfortunately for him though, he played right into his opponent's hands. Oh, Using shit. his force against him, Yupi turns the battle around and puts the Pompadour Man on the verge of death. Thankfully, Killua's timely arrival saves Knuckles from his grim fate. The animation for this scene is just superb with all those angles, Ooh. graphic effects and faux symbolism. Oh Looking at it God. without spoilers and having no idea of what's going to come next, you think that surely Knuckles done for. That's what makes these rescue scenes so exciting, you see. You have a Holy slight shit. idea that one's coming, but when it does, it still leaves you with goosebumps. I'm not the only one who thought that Knuckle was going to die, am I? Thanks, Killua. <laughs> It's an honor for me to be a part of the Space Jam world. Hey, aren't you LeBron James? Nah, that shit looks sick, bro. Let's be honest, bro. That shit looks sick. Hell yeah, this has to be in the list, bro. Has to. What's better than this, though? Ooh. We all know episode 19 yeah. of Demon Slayer all too well now, don't we? Who doesn't? In the next episode, we get the epic scene of Giyu Tomioka saving Tanjiro. Since the start of the series, Tanjiro's probably been the Demon Slayer Corpse's water pillar's only real friend. And Tomioka saves our MC in his time That's of need. Facts. Coming in at the crucial moment, Tomioka stands as a worthy opponent to the white demon who's been a thorn in the Kamado sibling's side. For those doubting Tomioka's strength, this episode puts that to rest. The powerful Demon Slayer demonstrates the difference between him and he puts the lower bro he he shit on the lower rank demon so hard bro it's not even funny he demonstrates his power in this one not gonna lie ruby by showing off his abilities before easily winning the battle and eliminating the white demon look at this. that was way too easy Kill. what <laughs> nah this is not only number fucking seven what is this this is gonna be number seven there's no way the rest better be good, bro. I saw this shit. We we kind of just passed it. Or we're a little bit ahead of this. Right now, we are where the Eye of the Midnight Sun attacks the Black Bull's hidden base, bro. Right now, I'm, I'm there and it's getting good, bro. It's getting good. But holy shit, this moment right here was crazy. Look at that. The Black Bull's coming in to save their squad mate is seventh on the list. 
Yeah. Finral's most important battle comes in the Crystal Destruction Battle Tournament. Practically mm. grown as rivals to each other, Finral and Langris finally get their chance at a showdown. Now, despite Finral's brave showing, fate wouldn't That's smile tough. down on him as he falls in battle to his superior brother. After the match, then Langris rubs salt in the wound, commenting that there's nothing that his inferior brother can beat him at. Before uh. he can even finish Finral, in comes Magna, Luck, and Asta. It's not about the tournament anymore now. The Black Bulls just step in to protect their friend from harm. Now tell me you saw this coming. Even before seeing this episode, I knew something oh, like this was shit. definitely going to happen. If there's anyone who'd pull out a last minute save of Riza, it's got to be her trustworthy partner, hasn't it? Uh, yeah. After thinking that the Colonel died, Riza loses the composure that she's known for and unloads on the homunculus. It's too bad though, her opponent's someone who wouldn't die even if you killed her. <laughs> Despite Alphonse's heroic attempts at protecting her, Things were looking bleak for the good guys when the still completely alive Mustang shows up at the last moment. Revealing the secret to him surviving his wounds, Mustang burns Lush repeatedly, unfazed by her Holy continuous regeneration. Shit. Even the toughest of the homunculi has to have a limit to its regeneration, and after reviving so many times, Lust finally succumbs and dies in an ironic twist at the hands of a man who never fell for her wiles. <laughs> Holy shit. That guy's crazy. Whoa. Oh, Talk shit. about David versus Goliath. Standing face to face with a giant armed with a sword capable of cleaving anything in half, Yahiko shouts his friend's name. Just in the nick of time, help arrives in the form of an unexpected rescuer. Badass music heralds the entrance of the strongest character in the Ruroni Kenshin universe. Kenshin's master Hiko stops the giant's powerful sword. He then shows why he's the strongest by winning the battle against Fuji. At least he paid respect to his opponent before finishing him off in just one hit. That's the most so powerful part, that he bro. had to be kept out of the main plot. When they show respect, that's a badass. By the way, have y'all listened to the Kid Leroy's new album? Cause that shit crazy. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Every single song, except for the one with G Herbo, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the one with G Herbo on it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's kind of like all right, but the rest of the songs are good. I like them. Rounding out the pre-top three at number four is Ichigo saving Rukia. If this moment seems familiar, it's because you watched the top ten Bleach moments video then you got your internet cookie. You see, those who are a bit older will recall when times were simpler in Bleach. This moment's the pinnacle of the renowned Soul Society arc. Ichigo steps between the gigantic phoenix that's about to kill Rukia. Showing never seen before strength and a renewed resolve forged from his journey, Ichigo stops the being of pure energy right before all hell's about to break loose. The calm and confident look on Ichigo's face is the look of a strong protector, one who's overcome trials to get to exactly where he is, and this awesome moment of saving Rukia is one of his personal highlights in the entire series. Oh, shit. Rukia. That's crazy. Opening our top three is a scene from the third Berserk movie. It's fair to say that Skull Knight totally stole the spotlight in this scene. 
We've just seen the rise of Femto in the Eclipse, but for some, the arrival of the new Lord of Darkness is a warm-up for the epic moment that comes next. On entering the Eclipse, Skull Knight rides through the minions of darkness. With the goal of rescuing Guts and Casca, Skull Knight charges and leaves defeated apostles in his wake. Even Femto's attempted attack fails to phase him, and he successfully makes his getaway. His glorious charge and rescue adds even more to what's already been a gripping scene. Just who is this mysterious knight, really? Well, you better start watching Berserk to find out. Number two is the Holy legendary shit. Sinbad coming in with the Seven Seas Alliance at the climax of Margie's second season. Oh. Margie's second season what? ends with a battle against a medium that wouldn't look out of place in an actual MMO. Even with the aid of the Ko Empire, Holy things were looking bad for our heroes as the medium simply kept shrugging off attack after attack. I told you this is an MMO boss raid, right? Before the medium can proceed with heralding the second end of the world, a bolt of lightning stops it. Who else can you count on to make a grand Holy entrance shit. but Sinbad, King of the Seven Seas? Sinbad and the Seven Seas Alliance launch their attack on the medium. Reunions happen and a whole yeah. plethora of cool new Jin equips get revealed as the battle against the medium takes another turn in what's already been a roller coaster of a final boss fight. Hold up, bro. This shit actually looks sick, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. To did y'all did did see how he looked, bro? The, 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 the guy, the, the dude the, the, with the blue hair? That shit looks sick. I ain't even gonna lie. Sinbad. That's his name. Oh, this is good. Okay, okay, I'll give you this. Standing tall at the top of our countdown is Shanks Number coming one? in to save Kobe and ending the Marineford War. Okay. Ever seen a character so strong and badass that he stops an entire war with just his mere presence? If you Facts. haven't, then perhaps you haven't yeah. seen One Piece. Towards the end of the Marineford War, Kobe finds this himself staring crazy. death in the face. Kobe just finished his dramatic speech that took all the courage in the world. However, Akainu doesn't seem impressed. He simply tells Kobe that seconds have been wasted and gets ready to kill him. Before Akainu strikes, from out of nowhere, Shanks, one of the four emperors, interferes. Stepping in and protecting Kobe, Shanks declares the war to be over. To everyone's that surprise, that finishes things. That's it. Shanks literally shit on everyone, bro. He was like, if you want to fight, man, come fight me and my pirate crew, you know what I'm saying? And he stops the entire war, bro. This was a crazy scene. It, I mean, yeah, I'm not kidding. Through sheer force of intimidation, Shanks ends the war. That's it. No high profile defeats, no flashy one on one battle. It's over just like that. All he yeah. said was, the war's over, and it was. Is this one badass moment or what? Before I end this video, I'd like to give a shout out to this video's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is one of the easiest to use and beautiful for your favorite saves in anime. For more crazy. content like this, leave a like, subscribe, and check back for more videos soon. See you next time on VinnyTube. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's be 100, bro. Let's be 100. I feel like the Black Clover save, that one should have been higher. That one that one should have been higher. I need to go live. Maybe, hmm. I don't know about the Tanjiro. I feel like the Tanjiro one that, that one that one was good where it was, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I feel like the overall the black clover one should have been higher. Yeah. That's about it though. It was a good list, bro. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for the support, man. Like I always say, man, this means so damn much to me. So if y'all are new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button, bro. Hit those likes and hit those notification bells so y'all can get notified whenever I drop a video, man. But anyways, yo, like I said, I'm going to be dropping a sit-down talk video with y'all because I I haven't dropped one of those in a long-ass time, and I just can't wait, you know what I'm saying? 
I just can't wait. I gotta get y'all focused. I gotta get y'all ready. But anyways, y'all, stay positive, stay healthy, and keep that strong mentality, man. I'm out.